Good afternoon, everybody. I want to go ahead and get going now. So thank you all for thank you all very much for being here. Good afternoon. Um, I'm Tim Borden, interim city manager for the city of Cupertino. Um, and today we're going to be celebrating the kickoff of a wonderful community project. Um, the unfortunate part is it came after a, a really a horrible community tragedy. So um, just not down the, not far down the road, several years ago, there was a fatality. Um, Ethan Wong, a Monta Vista uh, student, um, passed away. And, and but what what came out of that was something that that really has initiated. Um, a, an effort in Cupertino uh, in support for really improving the bike and ped inf infrastructure within the city to make it safer and more comfortable for more people to get on their bikes and get around the city. So, so for that, um, I think that, that this really became a wonderful thing. Um, it, w it really will be, this, this uh, project will be something that will give that ev extra lev level of safety for our students, our families, and residents, uh, partic particularly those that bike uh, to work or to school. The project will be uh, coming, be starting this Monday and ex expected to be completed in about three months. So when you all come back to school uh, in August, uh, we should be putting in the finishing touches. So I, I, think, you'll, you'll, I think you'll be impressed and pleased with the, with the result. Um, Today, uh, we're going to be thanking the uh, Cupertino Union School District and Fremont Union School High School District for partnering with us on this. A lot of the communication because, you know, co construction comes with disruptions to, to daily lives. So we appreciate the, the understanding for that and all of the communication that's gone out to students and their families. So we really appreciate that. Um, today, we, we appreciate being hosted here at Lincoln uh, by, by uh, Principal Ann Crop. Uh, so let's let's thank thank Ann. We have uh, several speakers coming up. Uh, I'm going to note a few that that uh, the people I'd like to point out that that aren't on our speaking list, but but I do want to uh, appreciate their support for being here today. So we have uh, Council Member Darcy Paul. Yeah, if you could please stand up. Planning Commissioner David Fung. CUSD uh, COO Jeff Bowman, uh, Bike Ped Commissioner Gerhard Eschelbeck, and now we have uh, uh, Council Member John Willie. Okay, and so let's go ahead and, and have some of the speakers come up now. If uh, we can have uh, Mayor Stephen Scharf come up. So how many people biked here today? Okay, I guess I'm the only one. So like Tim said, it's, it's kind of sad that the tragedy of Ethan Wong is what it took to get us moving on improving our bicycle infrastructure in Cupertino. But I think it can have a big effect keeping children and adults safer but also increasing the number of people willing to ride when they see the new infrastructure. I was just reading about protected bike lanes in Columbus, Ohio. They saw a 75% increase in bicycling after they put them in. Now, unfortunately, they did see in the bike lanes more bike crashes. So that's something we have to guard against. We really need, you know, a protected bike lane and a helmet are great, but we really need to teach the children and adults how to ride safely as well. Uh, one, one thing I like about protected bike lanes, it's a problem I see every day. It's delivery trucks, cars, parking in the bike lane, and the cyclists have to veer out into traffic to get around them. It's almost more dangerous than if there's no bike lane at all. On bike to work day, I was on Homestead Road in Sunnyvale a Chevy Volt parked right in the bike lane, took out my phone, called the non-emergency number. This was in Sunnyvale. In 10 minutes, they had a community service officer out there ticketing the vehicle. We really need to be vigilant. We, there's no way we can make every bike lane a protected bike lane. It's, it's expensive and it's complicated. Um, there's issues with uh, things like garbage trucks and deliveries. And, and some of them are shared. They're, you have parking at some times of the day. But this is a great start at schools especially. And 
Unfortunately, we see behavior of drivers around schools is not always what we'd like it to be. Uh, often, cars will line up in the bike lane waiting to turn into a parking lot, uh, really endangering cyclists, and the protected bike lanes should be a good solution to this problem. So thank you all for coming today, and I'm look, really looking forward to the completion of this project. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mayor Sharp. I, uh, one one uh, person I did miss, I, I, uh, we have Public Safety Commissioner Rob McCoy here. Thank you, Rob. So, so next, I'd, I'd like uh, Jerry Liu, our board clerk with the Cupertino Union School District, to come up. All right. Um, well, um, so good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's a real privilege to uh, be here in front of this audience today. Um, so I'm Jerry Liu. I um, serve on the uh, school board for the Cupertino Union School District. And so on behalf of the district, I'd like to thank everybody here for joining us uh, here at this ceremony. Um, before I start, I actually would like to introduce a few members of our CUSD community. Um, Jeff Bowman, our COO, uh, that's previously um, introduced. Uh, we have Leslie Maines, who's our chief uh, information and uh, community engagement officer, and uh, Ann Crop, of course, our beloved principal here at Lincoln. And uh, we have um, three uh, student representatives who graciously gave up class time to be here sitting with us. So thank you very much for coming. Um, so we're here to, um, you know, to kick off the construction of the McClellan Road uh, separated bike lanes project. And I, for one, can't wait to, for this to get started. Um, you see, so I've lived in this neighborhood for about eight years or so. And so every weekday morning and every weekday afternoon, there would be these convoys of cars converging on the schools in this area. Right, and, and you will see cars mixing it up with students that are you know, trying to uh, go to school or you know, uh, get back from school. And then you will see these sort of messy traffic situations that could be pretty scary for a pedestrian or a cyclist. And, so, and this is a scene that's repeated itself over you know, week after week, month after month. But now I think um, the scene is gonna change now with this new project because the separated bike lanes are gonna provide a safe biking path for our students at Lincoln, at Kennedy, at Monta Vista. And when we provide our students with safe routes for them to bike to school, it's more than just student safety. It's also, um, we're helping to alleviate the traffic situation in our neighborhoods, reducing air pollution, and giving these students uh, more of an opportunity for more physical exercise. Um, and so, you know, a project like this wouldn't be possible without the close collaboration between the city of Cupertino and the school districts. And so I particularly wanted to uh, take the time to acknowledge and recognize the contributions of the staff of the different agencies for your dedication and service to our community. Um, I also would like to acknowledge uh, Cherie Vakoviak and the Safe uh, Routes to School program for your leadership in encouraging biking and walking to school and certainly the numerous residents and organizations like uh, Walk Bike uh, Cupertino uh, for their um, energy and advocacy the last several years that made this uh, trail, uh, this path possible. And so in closing, I just wanna say that um, providing uh, these separated bike lanes for our students is a worthy investment. Um, it reaffirms our values as a family-friendly community and it's a shining example of what we can achieve if we all work together. And this is just the beginning, because these bike lanes are part of the broader Cupertino bicycle transportation plan, which will provide, you know, in the coming years, practical alternatives, uh, uh, practical and healthy alternatives to car travel. And so today, we take the first step towards this future. And thank you all very much. Okay, next we'll have uh, Ben Klausnitzer, the principal of Monta Vista High School. Good afternoon and uh, thank you for being with us here today as we mark the official uh, start of construction on the McClellan uh, bike lane project. Uh, I do want to start uh, with thanking our, our partners uh, from the city of Cupertino who have spearheaded uh, this important project to provide protected bikeways uh, along McClellan as well as our colleagues in the Cupertino Union School District uh, for their collaboration uh, on this effort. As principal at Monta Vista High School just next door, um, ensuring that all students are able to travel safely to and from school is critical 
Uh, this project will benefit so many of our members in the community, uh, providing an increased level of safety uh, and protection for many of our students and staff who bike to school uh, daily. On behalf of board, uh, Superintendent Bovey, uh, and the entire district, I'd like to express gratitude to the city uh, for including us very early on uh, in this project to ensure the best communication for our students, uh, our family, our families and staff. Uh, we sincerely appreciate the steps the city took to create a smooth process for all involved. Uh, the, entire ben the, the entire community benefits uh, when we're able to work collaboratively on projects that support all, support all residents. So thank you uh, for again joining us today. We look forward uh, to celebrating the completed project later this year. Okay, now I'd like to ask Ray Zhao, a student with Monta Vista High School. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you guys for inviting me here. So I'm a junior at Monta Vista High School. And this past year, I've been working at uh, Safe Routes to School to provide a first-hand student experience uh, perspective of the commute to school. And it's been a pleasure to work with uh, such dedicated, caring people who are, so, uh, who are so willing to improve our community, including transportation manager David Stillman, who's not here, Safe Routes to School coordinators Sherry Valkoviak, I'm sorry, he is here, <laughs> uh, and, uh, Matt, Sh and uh, Matt Schroeder, uh, as well as all the parents and the school administrators. Now, many of my friends biked to school, and I would too, and I almost did so in uh, middle school. Yet my parents later changed their minds one day, saying that it's too dangerous. Going back to my friends, many of them experienced dangerous experiences on a daily basis when coming to and leaving school. Not one, but two of my friends have been hit by cars, have been hit by drivers who have fled the scene. In addition to this, a few more have had terrible, terrible collisions with involving cars, breaking bones and other limbs. Other times, younger students struggle to merge and bike alongside with traffic. It's not an uncommon occurrence to see students pull right in front of cars when turning left to the student parking lots to student bike racks at Monta Vista, and students often turn too wide right into the path of cars when they're exiting the bike racks. Not to mention parents and other commuters who are passing by often cross over the painted bike lanes and occasionally hit students. With the, with the new separated bike lanes, students will be kept at a safer distance and bikers will be less likely to veer out of the, uh, out of the routes making for a safer commute for these students attending school. I know that my, my friends are excited for separated bike lanes, and their parents are too. I'm grateful to, to the engineers behind this project, the city of Cupertino, and the Safe Routes of Two uh, school program. Uh, and I'm looking forward to safer commutes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, and next we have our, our Chief of Police, uh, Captain Urena from the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office. Well, good afternoon, I'm Captain Rich Urena. I lead the men and women of the Sheriff's Office who provide law enforcement services to the city of Cupertino. I'm extremely excited to be here today. So as many of you know, the Sheriff's Office is committed to doing anything we can to ensure the safety and security of our residents. As such, we are extremely excited to be part of this project as we believe these separated bicycle lanes will prevent collisions and help protect our bicyclists. These lanes will no doubt appeal to all residents, especially our students who will use them on a daily basis to travel from and to the various schools in the area. As I'm sure many of you are aware, our motorcycle deputies spend a significant amount of time in and around this area in order to stop unsafe driving and keep everyone safe. Right, Mr. Mayor? <laughs> the addition of these lanes will enhance our goal of public safety by preventing motorists from driving or stopping in unsafe locations. This project is a great example of a community coming together to help solve a safety problem. On behalf of Sheriff Laurie Smith and all the men and women of the Sheriff's Office, we thank you for allowing us to be part of this exciting time. Thank you.
Thank you, Captain. So I, again, I want to thank everyone for coming out today. I, I think it's going to be a, a great project, and when you come back at the end of the summer, you'll you'll see that. Um, and I also, uh, while I have the mic, I do uh, want to say a few more thank yous. Um, I was formerly the Director of Public Works, so I really want to call out a, a big thank you to the Public Works staff, David Stillman, Michael Zimmerman, and, Sh and Cherie with our Safe Routes group. So, so thank you very much for bringing this project forward. Um, today I want to thank everyone for, for helping coordinate this. We have the City Channel crew and our Public Affairs group. So, so thank you all very, very much for everything you put into this. Um, so with that, I think we're done, but we're, we do want to come over some, for some photos right over here, Brian, right? Okay.